Okay, in this lesson, we want to we turn all of them off. We want to use a move spline here, a move spline, and as you can see, uh, with a turtle mode, we this turtle um, formula I explained it before makes such a these things here to opening, and then I extrude it, and then on clone it in a cloner I connect them together and after that with some the settings we give it to the spline wrap and we can making a pipe like this with a random effector in this lesson we want to learn how to do this okay let's begin first uh, we want to create a more spline to creating one part of that pipe in this more spline, you are going to turtle mode. In turtle mode, as I said before, in the last tutorial about the turtle, we have a formula. I explained them before, holding shift slash the A, it's a formula, make a rule that is minus F, then holding shift and backslash A, I explained them before, you can Go and in a value we need this angle to rotate and grow. As you can see, it grows in uh, this direction. It's nice, okay? It's nice. You can double the width. Oh no, scale low movement. Double the movement for higher that. Then you can change the angle of that to be straight. So after that, we need to extrude it, extrude this new spline. An extrusion, yeah, I think this number is nice, or maybe smaller number, yeah. And as you can see, if I animate the growth, we have something like this, nice. And we animate it, click on this dot here to first frame, going to, for example, this frame and make it to the end. That's nice, that's nice for us. And as you can see, we have an animation for our one side. Okay, we go to the end and we, oh, sorry. And then we want to make them radial by Make them radial by cloner. Make it a clone. And going to the up instead of grid, we need the radial. And uh, it's radial in this direction. We have to make it like a pipe. So with the count, play with the count and of course, Nope, rotation in this direction, nice. Go to the up. You can uh, make them uh, as close as possible. You can turn off the grid, this move spline. By I, and then you can go and the radial, holding also a smaller number of the radius. And the connector does the other for you. <clears throat> Go to the transfer. Yeah, I think that's nice. Go to the radius. I pause the video to make it by eye. I think, yeah, that's nice. A little. In here, a little radius. Yeah, I think, I think the connection object can handle this okay uh, now go to the connect and make a child it does not work you have to increase or decrease in this case we increase this number oh, as you can see it's connect it's automatically connect if you turn off the connection as you can see so we connect our most line and as you can see they are going uh, one by one but I don't like it. I like more uh, 
lengths to doing that. Yeah, that's nice. And I need a random. So, uh, go into the cloner and give a random to that. As you can see, it's randomized the parameter. We don't need a parameter. As I said before, if you have animation or changing a modify to your, how you have an animation in your cloner. To change the, the randomness of that animation, you have to go to time offset. And nice. And as you can see, we have a, a time offset delayed to our object. Nice. So this is one of the benefits of the uh, time offset in a random. Don't forget that. And the last thing that we want to use, if you want to <clears throat> add a thickness to that, you can use the class surface. You can, it's important. Bring your connection, connect object to the cloth. In a cloth, we don't need to subdivide it. We instead need thickness. Nice. And as you can see, we have a nice thickness there. But I think a little subdivision is nice. You can experiment that. And as you can see, this is our object. Okay. So if you want it, you can give that. Okay. You can uh, first uh, add a subdivision, test it, add this subdivision. And after the subdivision, you can go to the class surface for that. And, and in this case, we don't need to any. And we can add a thickness here. Nice. Okay, let's try a subdivision. Now it's become better. Nice. This is not because of the time offset. It does not. Okay. So you can use this. Uh, another thing, for example, this is our pipe. We want to uh, wrap it on a spline or arc or anything like that. For example, arc. We want to wrap it on this arc here. We bring it there and here we want to wrap it on this let's test it for doing that we need to a spline wrap the spline wrap is wrapping object along the spline so which object do we want connect so we have we as you can see we have a child we cannot make a child as i said before we have to uh, Alt G or right click and make them group. And as you can see, it's grouped there. Nice. Go to the spline wrap. Which spline do you want to wrap on it? This. And you have to change its axis to make it correct. And nice. And we have our object. Okay. The issue that happened here is because of this uh, you have to go in here in bounding box as you can see because we have an animation to our object as you can see our spline wrap is also animating so in this case the fixed bounding box is useful now it's fixed the bounding box and does not change any of it as you can see we have nice and smooth uh, building that spline like this. So the fixed bounding box here is very nice for us because it's fixing the bounding box and because of we have an animation in move spline, it's try to animating the, as you can see, if it's turn it off, it's try to animating the width and <clears throat> the height of that and you can make it correct. Nice. So, I think, ting, ting, turn the most light off in this situation. I think it makes something wrong. Yeah. Okay, that's it. You learn a lot in this example, and that's nice.
Okay. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.